Hola, mi nombre es Edward Castro y participé en el premundial con la selección de Guatemala y juego de centro delantero o de interior y les invito a que vayan a suscribirse al canal de Juan Rodas para ver nuestra entrevista y más. Good afternoon everybody, my name is Juan Rodas. Today we have Guatemalan midfielder Edward Castro who, who plays for LA Galaxy. Edward, how are you today? Good, and you? Doing good, bro. Well, thank you so much for accepting the invitation. And if you could start yeah. off telling us um, how has your childhood been so far in? In Los Angeles. Uh, it's been good. Just growing up here in East Los Angeles. Um, yeah, just growing up playing soccer. Mm -hmm. And then it, ha, has soccer been like the only sport that you played, or 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 like did you throughout my childhood? Uh -huh. uh, I've been I played like a lot of sports: baseball, yeah. um, football. But it wasn't like joining a team. It was like with my brothers and stuff. Yeah, for sure. And have you always been a midfielder, or or no? Uh, first I was a a striker, yeah. and then my coach moved me to the midfield, like attacking midfield. Yeah. But yeah, sometimes I I play forward or midfield. Do you play feel the most, Do you feel most comfortable as a, as an attacking mid? Yeah, that's my most comfortable position. Most definitely. And then if 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 you were to pick a starting eleven, uh, who who would it be with, and why? With like. Like from goalkeeper to defenders, mid and forwards. Like who would you pick? Um, goalkeeper. It's hard because I know a lot of good goalkeepers yeah. from what they. Yeah. It would be. Or it could be in general, you know, like it could be from. In general, yeah, like. In general, yeah, yeah. Uh, it would be. Keylor. Uh -huh. Keylor Navas. Kiko, yeah. Yep. Left back, Marcelo. Center back. Hmm. It would be tough one. <laughs> would it be? <laughs> it would be probably Marquinhos uh -huh. and Sergio Ramos. Uh -huh. CDM it would be Casemiro, mm -hmm. Iniesta, Xavi. Up top, of course, Pescadito. <laughs> of course, of course. Uh, left wing. Neymar uh -huh. and right wing um, Messi. That's dope. And then, so I'm guessing you're a Real Madrid fan from the most of the players that you were mentioning, or no? Yeah, no, no, I'm a Barca fan, but oh, okay. yeah, I just look at the how they play. Yeah, of course, of course. And then if we, if you could tell us, us the fans, you know, something that we don't know about Edor Castro, you know, something maybe apart from soccer that people sometimes won't won't know about you. Um. Just hard working when no one's looking. Yeah, just just a hard worker. Mm -hmm. For sure. What are you doing in your free time when you have it? Um, just basically just work out on my body. Just train. Uh -huh. Stay in shape. Yeah. No FIFA, no Netflix, no nothing like that. Oh yeah, I play FIFA. Yeah, play <laughs> FIFA with my friends and stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what team do you usually pick? Uh, Barca. Barca. Or Barca. yeah, Barca. Most definitely. What what sacrifices have you done, you know, to to be where you are? Today? Sacrifices. I would be leave my my friends from high school to to join the galaxy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be the, one of my biggest sacrifices. Mm -hmm. And then you you think it's worth it? It is worth it. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Who and uh, out of the many games that you played with Galaxy, who has been the toughest defender you have played against and keeper? Toughest defender. Yeah. It would be mm, I've gone against a lot of tough defenders. Yeah. Um Matthew Gaitan. <laughs> Matthew Gaitan, I would yeah, it would probably be Matthew Gaitan. <laughs> <laughs> but what about like like maybe here in the States? Here in the States there's a lot. Um yeah. my team, Jalen Neal, mm -hmm. Marcus Recranus, there's a lot of good defenders. Yeah. Goalkeepers. There's a lot too. Yeah. Tony Tony Ramos. Of course. And then obviously yeah. you're 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 born in the United States. If I'm not wrong, you already played for the U fifteen for the national team and then you get called up last yeah. year for the U seventeen for Guatemala. What do you feel most like most like more American, more Chapin, born in the middle? Like if you could explain to us, you know? Obviously I was born here. Yeah. But I feel like when I went to Guatemala I felt at home. Yeah. Like welcome the culture. It was really really nice, yeah. beautiful country. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I'm more chapin, I guess. Yeah, for sure. 
Yeah. And then obviously playing for, for Guatemala la, last year and, and playing for, for Galaxy. Who has been your best teammate on both and why? On both? Yeah. I would say I would get along with the, with everyone yeah. in the national team. Mm -hmm. Matthews Gartan, Jose Ortega, obviously, because he's from here. Yeah. Um, also from Galaxy, I would say... Everyone, I guess, yeah, everyone, everyone, yeah, good friends with, yeah, of course. And then, uh, obviously, playing for Galaxy, have you played against any other Guatemalan players that have possible, possibly Guatemalan blood that you played against? I have, um, one, his name is Chris. Chris, I don't know if you know him. Well, what, what position does he play? Chris, you know, he's a center back. Oh, uh, Urugutia, right? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Anybody he's, else? He's nice um, I haven't played against any of them, but I've seen them like in showcases. Uh -huh. um, Jose Ortega, Kevin Mendoza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what about? Yeah, I've seen them. In the, uh, from not wrong, you also played against Gilbert Fuentes, right? Last year when when Gilbert played Gilbert for the US. Fuentes. One from yeah. France. <laughs> Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> and then, in, in your opinion, who who do you think is is the best midfielder in your position in what in Guatemala history? Guatemala history? Yeah, from your position. Hmm. In your opinion. Um, oh, I can't think of his name. Marco Papa was good. Who else? What's what's the other one? Maybe Pando. I, I, I don't know if you ever saw Pando. Yeah, Pando. Right? Yeah, yeah. Couldn't think of his name. Yeah. Was it Rata Garcia or no? He played for the Galaxy. I forgot his name. So what? So was he kind played of played for Santos too? Martin Machong. Martin Machong. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. For yeah he was a really, really good player. And yeah. Then, if you had a chance to 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 have a dinner with the legendary midfielder in your position, who would be with and why? I would say. Does it have to be a midfielder? Or yeah, if 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 it doesn't, it's fine too. I would say Pescadito. Pescado. Yeah. Have you ever met him? Yeah. I haven't met him. No, I never. I don't. I haven't seen him around there. Yeah. And yeah. obviously, you're in quarantine as well. What are you What are you doing? You know, right right now in summer, that is, is Galaxy sending you exercises. Like, what are you doing to stay in shape? Galaxy sends me exercises to do at home. Also, like I have like a private trainer. And he like, yeah, like get touches in the ball and stuff. Uh -huh. And yeah, just say quarantine, play some games, yeah. FIFA, Call of Duty. <laughs> and then do you do you go to the beach? Is the beach close to you? Yeah, it is. Which yeah, it's one? really. I spend time with my family. Yeah, at the beach. Of course. And then who? Who do you think is the best mid in your position right now? In in general. In the world. Mm -hmm. In the world. I would say De Bruyne. Oh, and, and Belga. <laughs> uh huh. For sure. What are your short yeah. and long term goals? Short term would be get a contract with the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. And the long term would be go to a World Cup with Guatemala. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. And then, obviously, if I'm not wrong, you're 17 or 18, correct? I'm 17. 17? Yeah. Um, there, there's obviously possibilities with you maybe signing for LA Galaxy 2 and if that maybe doesn't happen I'm guessing you've you've already taken thoughts into to going to university like what are yeah. you like have you have you taken thought into this yeah um, I've been talking to a few college coaches also um, but yeah my main goal right now is to get a contract mm -hmm. with Galaxy 2 and then how do you yes, see that good. coming about you know because there's a Recently, we've seen Galaxy signing 17-year-olds, 16-year-olds, yeah. you know, like really young players. What do you think you, you have to do to, to possibly get that contract and fulfill your dream? I feel like just, just getting back to it, mm -hmm. um, just showing them what, what I got, and yeah. Have you talked to the coaches about, may, about maybe a possibility? Yeah, we've been talking, but yeah, just right now that you can't really do anything because of quarantine, yeah. the, the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just... It's holding hard. everything back right now. Exactly. And then out of the many goals that you've scored, which has been your best goal and, and how did you celebrate it? I feel like my best goal was against Costa Rica, mm -hmm. the PK. Oh, yeah, because yeah. 
yeah, it just it, that feeling to score with with your national team is amazing. Most definitely. Who uh, obviously you're still young, you're 17 years old, but ha has there been yeah. an athlete or that that you admired? Possibly as a at a younger age, or possibly your dad, your mom. But was there somebody? I would say my dad, because mm -hmm. he's a, yeah, he's been a father and mother figure for me. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I feel, I feel like he's my biggest idol and yeah. I admire him. Of course, and and I'm guessing you're doing everything for him and your family. Yeah, of course. What league would you like to play in, and why? I would say the La Liga Española. La Liga Española. Yeah. Any specific team? Mm, Barca. Or Barcelona. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's <Gotcha>. dream. <laughs> For sure. How is it being Guatemalan, you know? Like, how is it like, representing Guatemala outside uh, it's, of Guatemala? It's beautiful. It's, um, you know, everyone calls you Chapin, and yeah, it's, it's cool. It's neat. For sure. What's your favorite music and, and food? I would say reggaeton. Uh huh. And some rap music. Yeah. And my favorite food would be tamales. Tamales. <laughs> of course. Yeah. What is there? Do you have a most embarrassing song on your phone or no? Embarrassing? Yeah, embarrassing song that you most likely just listen to yourself when you're just by yourself, or you usually don't listen to when with your friends. I don't think so. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fa favorite artist right now? Is it somebody? A Boogie. Uh, a Boogie. Yeah, A Boogie. Anybody else? Mm. Little Baby, mm -hmm. Bad Bunny. Yeah. yeah. Those are all good. For sure. Do you have a ritual going into the game? You know, like do you pray or is there something else that, that you do going into yeah, the game? Yeah, I say pray. Pray before a game is what I do before a game, yeah. Toughest moment so far in, in, in your career? What was that? The toughest moment in your career so far? I would say an injury when um when I got injured. Um yeah, that was the toughest moment. I injured my ankle. Well when was this? It was U fifteen season, right after I think right after when I right after like two weeks into I left the camp, the US camp. Mm -hmm. That's when I got injured, I think. And then, yeah. and then, if you could talk to us about that, you know, like how how did they get in contact with you? You know, the the, the national team. How did you feel? Like how was that experience at 15 years old? You know, representing a country. Yeah, um, it was at a showcase, I believe, mm -hmm. where they, there's a lot of U.S. scouts, and then yeah, they they liked how I played, and yeah, they just they the gal they contacted the Galaxy. They called like three other kids from my team. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they they told us that um, we're gonna go with the U.S. national team, mm -hmm. and then yeah, they sent us all their information, and it was an unbelievable um, feeling. Mm -hmm. How was the experience? And it was good, really nice um, complex. Mm -hmm. it was at Chula Vista? Yeah, it was really nice. How many games did you guys play? Uh, we played like three. Yeah, we played three. Did you guys win? Yeah, it was against uh, Cholos, I think. Uh -huh. And I forgot the other team. What was it? It was like an academy team, Surf, I think. Okay. Yeah. How did you play? I played good. I scored a goal against Cholos. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then after, you know, your, your time with the U15, has there been any contact from the U.S. Federation possibly maybe calling you back up? Uh, they haven't, no. No, nothing so far. Nothing so far. Mm -hmm. Who has been the mis best midfielder that you played against? That I played against? Mm -hmm. It would be... Hmm. Probably... Danny Leva. Ah, the one who's from Seattle Sounders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Danny Leva. For sure. And then how... If you could talk to us, you know, like, how do you become part of the LA Galaxy team? You know, like, how tryouts, like, how did that be, uh, happen? Yeah, it was tryouts. Um, I believe I was 10 years old, or no, 11 years old. Oh. And there's tryouts. And, yeah, there's a bunch of kids there. But, yeah, I guess you just 
I just stood out, and then they got my my info, and mm-hmm. yeah. How many years have you have you been so far with the Galaxy? Six. Five years. Five years. Yeah, five years. Wow. And during those five years, do you have a favorite game playing for for the Galaxy? Favorite game? Um, I have many. Uh-huh. It would be. Probably in Croatia, mm-hmm. played against Barca. Oh wow! Yeah, that would be my favorite game. Who was was there like a top player from from the Barca team that a lot of people know? Maybe Xavi Simons. Sorry, yeah, Xavi Simons. Wow, you played against him. Yeah. How was that experience? Uh he's he was he's playing good, but he got injured like in the first twenty minutes. Uh huh. Is he is he, is yeah. he as good as everybody talks about him? Uh, he's not amazing, but yeah, he's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How'd you guys do that game? Did you guys win or lose? Yeah, we won 2-1. Wow, you guys won? Yeah. Oh. Did, did you score or no? No, I didn't score. And was this a tournament? Yeah, it was um, Istria Cup. Oh, okay. Played against um, Dynamo Zybrig. From Croatia? Yeah. Uh-huh. And I forgot some other team. Red Bull Salzburg, I think. From Austria, no? Yeah. And then how many countries have you visited because of uh, of, of soccer so far? Uh, many. Um, <laughs> been, uh, Croatia. We visited uh, Italia. Mm-hmm. We visited with the with the selection. We went to Honduras. Mm-hmm. Went to Costa Rica. Went to Mexico. Yeah, many. Yeah, and then at a so- short age, did you ever like imagine traveling to so many places? I wouldn't imagine that, no. <laughs> Especially because of soccer. Yeah, of course. And has there been like a biggest trash talker on the field that you played against that you know to try to get in your head <laughs> to to get you out of your game or no? Um, I don't think so. No, nah. no. Nah. Nobody so far. Nobody so far. Mm-hmm. Who who is the shyest and the jokester on on your team with Galaxy? The shyest. Hmm. Can't think of anyone right now. I think everyone's out going like. Outgoing, yeah, yeah outgoing, yeah. and the funniest. Hmm. I would say probably Andre Ramos, uh-huh. or yeah, one of them. Yeah, of course. And then obviously you 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 are play out here in, in California, and then you've also played with the national team of Guatemala with the selection. But what could you? What is the the, the main difference that you see? You know, because obviously it's it's two different complete soccer levels two different complete like how they play and everything you know but like what's the main difference between po- soccer out here compared to out there i would say just more physical i guess yeah it's more physical here mm-hmm. like you need like yeah i think it's over there what the model is more technical mm-hmm. yeah but the level white is like the same it's oh, a good level yeah well what uh, when you were out there what player, what Guatemalan player, like surprised you the most, playing wise? I would say it was Kevin. Uh, Kevin, uh, I forgot his last name. Mendoza. Kevin. No, Kevin Mendoza too. Uh-huh. But Kevin Ramirez. Was, Kevin Ramirez, he was really good. Uh-huh. The, the left footed. Everyone, everyone was really good. Uh-huh. But yeah, he he was really good too. Marcelo too. Yeah. So yeah, good. Marcelo was really good. And then obviously you posted pictures with Zlatan and Chicharito. You know, two big players. You know, like how how were those different experiences meeting big players? You know, uh, I was, yeah, it was it was a good experience. Just yeah. And then have you, you met anybody else? Picture with them. Yeah. What was that? Have you met anybody else? Um, I haven't met, but we've like we've seen them around, like yeah. at the gym and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. so so you never met like uh, Giovanni Gerard. Now I haven't met him, but we I've seen him at the gym, but I haven't like, yeah, because sometimes they don't let us take pictures with them when oh, they're working yeah. out. <laughs> so then how did you take the picture with Zlatan and Chicharro? Were they? Uh, Zlatan was looking at his kid. Um, uh-huh. He was um, playing with um, Academy 2. Mm-hmm. And Chicharito, I just saw him right there and I got the chance. And Were they both nice? Or with them. Yeah, they're both, they're both nice. They're both chill? Yeah, and then so obviously you 
Like with the U seventeen, do you see like the main team train? Like, do you guys see them play like possibly like right next to you? Because I know out there in Carson, there's a lot of different facilities. Yeah, yeah. Um, they train at they train at the same time mm-hmm. as we do. Oh wow. Yeah, we they they play across the field where the national team usually trains. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, how many games do you play per season with the Galaxy? We play about. 30 around there oh 30 yeah mm-hmm. and like um some showcases here and there mm-hmm. but and but the most competitions against like the mls teams are like quake seattle yeah Vancouver. those are the showcases and yeah also ga cup uh-huh. and then yeah we play, we... and then how's the level of competition yeah it's 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 high it's really high y ahora hablando a Edward, si, si nos puedes hablar cómo fue debutar, obviamente con la selección de Guatemala el año pasado en el, en el premundial. Fue una buena experiencia, fue un representar a, a un país es, es lindo, especialmente tu país uh-huh. donde tus padres nacieron. Uh-huh. Lindo. Y para los que no sepan de, de dónde son tus papás allá, allá en Guatemala. Son de Quetzaltenango. Wow. Y y mi mamá es de de la capital de la capital uh-huh. entonces a, a, apoyas a Shela o no sí claro yo también yo también porque mis papás son de Quetzaltenango <ríe> yeah qué bien qué bien ¿Usted es de de Shela también ya, pues Quetzaltenango al día de las cruces como media hora de de Quetzaltenango ah bueno Ajá, yeah. sí, pero cerca cerca sí uh-huh. y obviamente de los varios partidos que jugaste con Guatemala el, el año pasado cuál fue el partido favorito tuyo mi favorito partido fue contra Costa Rica. Uh-huh. Costa Rica fue mi favorito partido. También pre mundial fue contra Barbados. Uh-huh. Buen partido. Por supuesto. ¿Quién es el más el más chistoso y el más como eh, eh, el más tímido eh, con esa selección? Yo diría el más chistoso sería Matthews Gaitán. Hay muchos Matthews Gaitán, Santis. Uh-huh. Uh, así que uh-huh. yeah. y, y digamos el, el jugador que casi no le gustaba hablar mucho y que le daba pena hablar nadie todos le gustaba todos <risa> sí <risa> qué bien qué bien y, y obviamente estaban en, en, un, en un grupo muy difícil va el, el año pasado en el premundial sí. donde se esperaba un poquito más de ustedes pero el fútbol es así va pero si también si si nos si nos puedes explicar sobre sobre el grupo, sobre esa experiencia con el premundial. Sí, sí, era el grupo más difícil, Canadá y Estados Unidos. Uh-huh. Eh, salimos en tercer lugar uh-huh. y no, no se ganó el resultado contra Panamá. Uh-huh. Por supuesto. Eh. ¿Y pero qué crees, en tu opinión, que se debió de hacer para clasificar a la, a, a la siguiente ronda? La verdad... No sé, la, la verdad, no. Tal vez de plantilla. Uh-huh. Yeah. Posiblemente. Un, un, y, y también uh-huh. atacar más, no solo porque yo siento que los defendíamos mucho y no, no había mucho ataque. Ajá. Uh-huh. Y posiblemente, no había suficiente para. Por supuesto. Y posiblemente yeah. un, un, un poco más de, de entrenos con la selección, va Porque si no está mal, apenas estuvieron juntos. Sí, sí, tiempo. más juntos. Ajá. El grupo que iba ahí, pues. Uh-huh. Porque si no está mal, Marcelo llegó como a tres días o algo así, ¿no? Sí. Eh, lo conocí, sí, solo tres días. <risa> Por ahí. ¿Y, ¿Y el profe Tono qué les dijo a ustedes? Pues los, los dio buena... Nos dijo que... Que hay que echar corazón y, uh-huh. y las tácticas pues también los, los, los dijo también. Sí. ¿Y, y, ¿Y quieres representar y jugar nuevamente con, con Guatemala? Sí, sería mi, mi objetivo para uh-huh. representar a Guatemala. Por supuesto. También si nos puedes contar cómo fue jugar ante Estados Unidos. Me imagino que, que, que conoces a varios jugadores de Estados Unidos. Eh, por, por ejemplo, Kobe Hernández entre otros, sí, sí. Si, nos, si nos puedes hablar sobre eso. Sí, era una buena experiencia. 
porque sí, sí, era una buena experiencia jugar contra mis compañeros y sí, pude hablar con ellos después y uh -huh. fue lindo. ¿Qué se dijeron después del partido? Solo cuánto tiempo estábamos en... cuánto tiempo estábamos en... en concentrados y todo, uh -huh. sí. Por supuesto. ¿Y, y cómo estuvo... Uh digamos así, en el hotel, en las canchas, con, con Guatemala representando a, a, a obviamente a, a Guatemala? Pues siempre profesional va poniendo el país en alto cuando, estábamos, cuando salíamos. Uh -huh. El profe siempre nos decía que, que estamos representando a nuestro país. Uh -huh. so, sí, actuar bien. Por supuesto. ¿En dónde te ves en tres años? Yo me veo... Jugando en Europa. En Europa, ¿va? Sí. <ríe> qué bien, sí. qué bien. Y, y de último, Kevin, eh, Edward, perdón. Si, ¿Qué mensaje le, le darías a, a todos los seguidores en Guatemala que, que te sigan, va? Porque o sea, queremos promocionar a, a muchos jugadores guatemaltecos afuera de Guate. Pero, ¿qué le dirías a, a la gente de, de Guate? ¿Algún mensaje? Yo le diría gracias por el apoyo. Uh -huh. Sí. Muchas gracias por, por apoyar a los, a los jóvenes, uh -huh. porque es el futuro, ¿verdad? Y sí, muchas gracias. Uh -huh. Pues muchas gracias, Edward. De verdad te agradezco por tu tiempo. Eh, te deseo lo mejor con, con Galaxy y primeramente Dios te podemos ver nuevamente con la selección de Guatemala, poniéndolo en lo más alto como se merece. Y como te dije, muchas gracias y que esta pandemia se acabe para para que vuelva al fútbol en Estados Unidos como lo va a hacer en claro. las próximas semanas pero muchas gracias y Dios te bendiga muchas gracias a usted uh -huh. por supuesto. gracias por ver mi entrevista a toda la gente del mundo que ve mis videos muchas gracias, si lo pueden compartir con sus familiares, se las agradecería bastante, si se pueden suscribir y darle like a mi video mil gracias y los veo hasta la próxima semana